I'm not gonna wipe my butt with my money anymore. So yeah, I look crazy. But the reality of this is wiping your butt with leaves isn't crazy. Not compared to pooping in clean water. Environmental activist Robin Greenfield is sitting on a compost toilet in cities around Florida to demonstrate how people can stop spending money on toilet paper and cutting down waste by growing their own. For years, he has been using the leaves of blue spur flowers, also known as the toilet paper plant, as a toilet paper alternative. So what I love about this toilet paper plant is that the leaves come off about the same size as a piece of toilet paper. Secondly, they are soft as can be. So, I mean, just soft as can be, yet durable. Watch, like they can really take a wiping so your fingers will not break through. Well, you use your homegrown toilet paper to wipe your butt as you would do with toilet paper. After you're done, you drop it into the bucket. In there is your poop and your toilet paper. And you take that sawdust, just like in a kitty litter box, you cover your poop with that sawdust. That takes away smells. If you don't have a compost toilet, you can still grow your own toilet paper. And what you can do is have a little bin next to your flush toilet where you put the used pieces into the bin and then you could take that out to your yard and you could just dig a hole and bury it. Or you could compost this, just the leaves. So even if you have a flush toilet, you can use this. The U.S. leads the world in toilet paper consumption. The process of harvesting, making, packaging, and shipping toilet paper involves significant energy use, as well as reliance on fossil fuels for transportation. He says that utilizing the toilet paper plant not only cuts down on waste, but can also cut back on environmental issues like red tide, a type of algae that produces toxins that can kill fish and is harmful to humans. I flipped open the new to the front of the local newspaper and it said, headlines, three million gallons of raw sewage spilled into the river. Underneath that, it said fourth largest spill in two years. So people believe that our flush systems work. Yeah, they work at making a problem, a big problem for society. Yeah, I look crazy, but the reality of this is wiping your butt with leaves isn't crazy. Not compared to pooping in clean water, polluting all that water and then ending up dumping it in our oceans and then making ourselves sick by swimming in our own pooped water. And here in Florida, it contributes to red tide. And this is my way of saying like, no, it actually is a very real issue. And this is one way of being a part of the solution. Robin estimates that within a year, two cuttings of the toilet paper plant can grow into enough toilet paper for a family of five. The plant is low maintenance and grows in many warm regions in the U.S., including Florida, but can also be grown in pots indoors. I'm a big advocate of water, but this is my full closed loop cycle where I'm able to deal with all of what's called waste on site, where there is no such thing as waste, and it all goes back into the soil, creates nutrients that then I can use to grow food with, like fruit trees. So that's why I'm here with this plant, not just for you to wipe your butt with it, but to actually use it as a tool to break free from capitalism and consumerism.